Hey guys, this is uh, Trevor from America Vapes. I'm Sam. He's the other co-owner of America Vapes. And we're doing this video to tell you the do's and don'ts of vaping. Alright, do. Be respectful when vaping. Don't. This if you're in a public place, don't just. <sighs> don't just let one out. Don't just blow it in someone's face. It's kind of like a fart. Some people don't like it. And if you do, say, I'm sorry, or something like that. Say, you didn't mean to. Um, number two on dues. Get a friend. Like, me and him, we've been friends forever. He got me more into vaping because I was a smoker. And I've quit smoking now. Both of us have. Yeah. And... So, and our friendship goes all the way do, back to. Well, I do the big clouds and everything like that, and he and does tricks. I'm the tricks. So, that's number two. Get a friend, because it's always more fun to have a friend while you're vaping, so you're not vaping alone. So, because if if you're trying to get off smoking and start vaping as a healthy alternative it's really hard to do it by yourself so if you have a friend helping you and is doing it with you it's more likely that it's going to take and all right do number three start small don't go straight to mech mods or or big ass mods, mods. <laughs> so You'll choke on the vapor. Plain and simple. I did. Because I tried to use someone else's. I mean, going from a small little sub bod from Kanger Tech or to a cuboid. A dripper. To a cuboid, I choked. <laughs> I seriously did. Like, like, I was walking down the street and I went and I just lost my shit. <laughs> like, this little smock I have, it's produced a decent cloud. But when I went for my little sub vod that produced almost no cloud, going to this, I choked. But it's the whole thing getting used to it. But because it is an yeah. odd feeling. As a smoker, I wasn't used to all that vapor in me. I was just used to a little smoke. But I quit. I'm glad I did. I feel so much better. And number three on the or no number four on the does uh dues stay hydrated because when you're vaping and you're hitting the mod or anything you're gonna get dehydrated that's you're why gonna I, feel like you aren't dehydrated but really you are that's why we we so, always have a drink with us if you see us even on if video, you go to mcdonald's and get a sweet tea or just grab a random drink water works great too Ma mainly it's mostly water. Yeah. But energy drink, well, not energy drinks, but Powerade, Gatorade, anything liquid actually will be good. And except for seawater. Yes. And alcohol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what we have for the do's. For the don'ts of vaping. Don't be stupid. Uh don't go into a like a Walmart Public. or anywhere that says no smoking and go ahead and just and vape just, inside. And just let a fat because ass cloud out. No smoking implies to vaping because they see that as smoke. Um, I mean, even though there's no secondhand side effects of it, hopefully that gets cleared up in the near future and all that other wazoo, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But most likely it won't. It'll be like that. For years, for years, years, and years. How it is is just don't do that because that also goes to the respect thing. It's more respectful to do, don't uh, blow just clouds inside of public places because they don't want you to. So don't do that. Number two on the Hang don'ts. On. One more thing for the don't be stupid. 
Don't be stupid with mech mods. They are unforgiving. If you build the wrong ohm on a for your battery, they will blow up. Oh, and another one that don't be stupid. Always keep batteries married. Because if you don't keep the batteries married, they won't ever go back together correctly. They won't be used the same or anything like that. Number two on the don'ts. Don't force anyone into vaping. Yes, it's a great thing to do. But if they don't want to do it, don't force them. Don't make them do it. Like, if they're, if they're smoking and they're diehard smokers, they won't ever stop. And even if they do start vaping, don't, don't like, force them to, like, quit smoking. I mean, yeah, it's a good thing for them to, but if they don't want to, they're not going to. Yeah. You can, like, hint at it. Just don't, like, push them to it. Like, edge them onto it. Hopefully they'll take it. Sometimes they won't. I've had a friend that won't. And that's what we have for that one. And number four. Have, don't have your device... Number if it locks, don't have it unlocked in your pocket, a backpack, or anything like that. Because it will fire and... Sometimes they'll catch fire. <laughs> it'll catch fire. It'll burn your cool, which means more money you gotta spend. Uh, it your batteries will go completely dead. You could possibly blow your mod up. Like in this... Even a regulated mod. This unregulated mod I have, if I have this push too long without hitting it, it will blow. Because it's so much power it's got. Mech mods... You can hold this thing, and as long as the battery's there, it's going. Mm -hmm. Regulated mods, usually you get about 10 seconds, but that 10 seconds is all you need, because all it's doing is just power, power, power. And yes, they'll cut off, but if if that pressure lets off and goes back on, that's another 10 seconds. Let's off, goes back on, right. another 10 seconds. This alien I have, it goes 30 seconds. But if you hold that for 30 seconds, either With you have some massive lungs... Or it's going to kill your battery and burn the heck out of you. Cool. So, that's all for experiences we've had. So, so, number four on don'ts. Don't keep batteries in your pocket. Done that. Had one vent. Almost burned the shit out of my leg hurt like hell I had some change in my pocket the uh, protective coating was worn through a little bit in one spot and that was just a recipe for disaster I should have had it in a case but I didn't I learned now I keep a case so that's what we have for y'all today the do's and don'ts of vaping if y'all like what y'all saw here, like it, subscribe, and comment and below if you want us to do anything else. Peace.